Here is an escape room. We're going to go through it and explain how each puzzle is done. I will add keyframes in here so you can decide what part of the video you need. But otherwise, if you want the whole thing, just watch through it. It'll be a nice little tutorial video. I have got a course first link in the description. If you want to help me out in this, you can use credit code Gizmo and subscribe and like and watch all the way through. All this will help me. So let's go ahead and get started and look at the first puzzle. I'm actually going to watch the creator's YouTube video. Hopefully he doesn't copyright strike me, but we'll just break it all down. The first puzzle is using an item placer and a conditional button. So let's go ahead and show you how that's done. So as where possible, I'm going to be doing this in normal Fortnite so that UEFN and Creative 1.0 can do this. But I'm sure at some point there'll be some UEF only things. But let's get started with this first little room that we had. We're going to need conditional button. Go ahead and pull that into your screen. I'm using the numbers here to put it where I want. And we're going to need an item placer. We're going to need a lock door device for this one in specific. We are going to need an item remover. We only need the item remover if the player can use this item again in the future. Example, for our item, we're going to use a key, just like in the video. <clears throat> so with all this, we're going to need to grab a door as well and the trigger as well. So let's get the trigger device too. And then we just need the door. Um, all right, it's walls. I've not used normal, uh, normal mode in a while. Uh, okay, this will work fine for us. We're not worried about showcasing decoration. So, we would grab our item placer and throw our item in here. So, we need one key in here. Obviously, if you're in UEFN, I'm going to assume you know how to do this. But if not, in your item placer, click on it and choose item list. With this, you're going to go ahead and go into the settings. Enable interact. This should be on and look for the respawn setting we need to allow respawn and make, let's say put this to like five seconds two seconds whatever they're gonna need this and then you're gonna go ahead and grab your conditional button and put in your lock device i uh, put in your same thing that you got in the item placer right i'm gonna grab a normal wall just for decorating i know i said i wasn't going to but there you go. Um, then you'll put this in here and you'll be using a lock device too. So the lock device is on. You can tell because it's blue instead of red. But it's a bit difficult to actually click on it. So let's do that again. Turn it to 32. I didn't notice that it was small like that, but it's fine. You can still follow the tutorial. Um, so lock. We're going to have it locked on start. Starts locked etc and we're going to have open when receiving from conditional button on activated this is going to lock the door uh, this is going to unlock the door when you put this item in here then we're going to put a trigger behind it just in case they were sitting waiting on this uh and refreshing it and but we're also doing this because we want to close the door behind us as well so we're going to add inside of this trigger a trigger delay and we'll put that on like two seconds 1.5 seconds you can turn these off so to you um doesn't matter so much and what we're going to do is when this is triggered we are going to have it lock the door and we're also going to put down the item remover we can just have it on all if you if you're not leading like a flashlight or something you can just have it on all um yeah, apply to player, remove from the trigger. So now I'll show you in game that this works. This is puzzle one. So you spawn in, doors locked. You need to put in your key. You can also make this uh, lock invisible, but the door's gonna unlock, you walk through it. After two seconds, it should close and remove anything you had it inside. It didn't. That's because I actually set it up wrong. I think I set it up to lock instead of close. So let's go ahead and fix that. See, I set it on lock. It was already locked. What I meant to set it as was close. This is puzzle one. Let's get moving on to puzzle two now. 
Okay, so if you look at this, puzzle two was just a wall, a hole in the wall. Super easy. Let's go and do that now. So let's get our wall and then we can actually, we're going to need to go. If you're in UEFN, you have to turn off cell snap, this one here. But if you're in normal creative, you have to go into creative menu. Is it creative menu? Yeah. So quick menu up here. It used to be a lot easier to get to and you want to turn off building as prop no you want to turn on building as prop okay now you can move the building slightly something like that and then obviously just make sure you can fit through the hole and there you go that's how you do that puzzle number two this next puzzle is uefn only he does the same thing as this but he puts a prop there so for example if i show you with um type in props grab this he has a prop in the way right obviously in normal creative you can't walk through this so to walk through a prop or a wall in uefn click on your prop and disable enable no collision you can see it down here and now i should have to press push changes so you won't see it but that is how this one works next up he has you're shooting at this um dartboard to make something where you shoot like this, what we'll do is give the player a weapon. You do this with an item granter. So we give the player a weapon, hook in the weapon. For example, we just want this one for, for example, sake. You could put in a rock or whatever. Um, and then let me go ahead and find that quick menu. What we do here is we put down a trigger. Oh, we already had it in our inventory um but we place the trigger down i'm not used to building in 1.0 anymore uh so yes it's excuse me for a second that would be fine um something like that you'd put whatever you want behind this and you turn off visible we're keeping visible on because i don't have anything behind it but what you want to do is make sure triggered by damage is on okay so now Let's say when I step on this trigger here, you could do this with the item placer like we did before or with triggers. Your choice how you want to set this up. I think this trigger two, right? Okay, trigger three. So grant item from trigger three. And then they just teleport, but in ours, we can use the same sequence as before. So let's do that. Got a locked door and we're going to unlock it when no, we're going to open it when trigger two happens. So when I shoot this, this door should open. You'd have to do the same thing we did originally where you put the lock behind it and relock it like from the first tutorial. See that opens just like that perfect like we did here you'd have to re-put down the lock that removes items and closes the doors we need to check in this lock actually because it looks like it didn't do it remove objectives because it's only objectives in here you'd have to change this to um, all objects i didn't mention that i guess um well actually it depends you'd have it on only objects in device if you wanted them to keep some of the inventory and then you'd put that object in the device moving on to the next one let's go ahead and see his next one is like a squid games kind of thing where you have to jump on the right thing to do that you just do the no collision trick that we showed um over here no collision next up is another shooting one we did a video on that one we did a saw on this one already let's keep watching item placer turn into a problematic to fit through a small place okay i felt you guys could figure this out but i'm going to show you anyway so with this here for example we're not going to be able to fit through unless we turn into a small prop 
so we put down the problematic uh it's a item yep equip we put this in the item placer or item granter <coughs> pardon me and it'd be kind of the same thing as before put this in the item placer now we just need to find a super small prop If we turn into a bin bag, but make the bin bag super small, this should work. So you get the gun, turn into the problematic, and then run through the little gap. So you do this one. Let's keep watching the video. Okay, so the rest of the video all looks just like the ones we've already shown in this tutorial. One last thing I'm going to show is breaking something. And this is a video my girlfriend wanted, actually. Um, so, you're welcome, Beb. Better like and use code Gizmo in the Fortnite item store. <laughs> uh, so, let's put this in. Type window. Mm, okay. Let's type in maybe door. We need a wall that you can jump through, essentially. A wall with a big, like, gap in it. Um, or, for example, we could just use, um, like, this. It's not, it's not really mattering to, incredibly. And we'd put, for example, like, a broken wall here or, like, some glass. I think this glass breaks if you walk into it. Um, oh, stupid glass. Um, Okay, so I went into the normal UFM to find a wall because I couldn't find this Neo wall kind of thing. So we put a piece of glass here in the window. Make it nice and small, fits nicely. You obviously go into more detail, make it look better than I have done it. This is a tutorial. Um, so, but anyway, it should look something like this. And what we're going to do is use the item granter like we've been doing. And we're going to need the prop manipulator as well. Prop manipulator. The item granted to give them an item. So make sure this has like respawn. Kind of the same things we were doing with all the previous ones. This was meant to be like a standalone video. Like each section. But right now it kind of only would have made sense if you watched it all. Um, but yeah. Item placer with whatever we want to give them. We're going to put in coal. it wants to give us coal there you go so we place our coal in here and we're going to put a trigger covering the window make it as nice as you can um so it covers it properly turn off visible visible effects and all this and um Trigger by damage on. Perfect. Now we're going to need to make sure our prop manipulator is on this glass. And what we're going to want to do is hide props when receiving from trigger four. So this will mean it will um, get rid of the glass when it, we throw the rock at it. Start hidden off. We want that. Uh, modify health. Yes, we want it to be like invincible and you're going to need to have something like on the other side like we've been doing before connected to the item remover to get rid of our items and 
we're going to want to have the prop manipulator in here to like respawn our window so show props and that should be that so let's see we're gonna have to run back over there again but it's fine obviously make this invisible i didn't so we might not even be able to jump through it because of it but there you go the window is broken we can't jump through because the window is uh, blocked by the trigger. But if it's invisible, you can jump through. And then this should respawn the window. Perfect. So that's how you do like a breakable window kind of thing. And yeah, hope the video helps. Now, if you've made a escape room with this tutorial, put it in the comments and go see what each other made. I got a link first. I got a link in the description for creating maps and a community where we do play tests and stuff like that so subscribe to the channel and use critical gizmo and watch the next one